Eight, who's ready for the next game of the Backyard Baseball League play? Uh, well, that's my intro over with. We're continuing the league play today. Artie's All-Stars versus the Giants. I don't know what their descriptor is, but they're probably going to be a tough team because they're the second best in the division as far as wins are concerned. But we're still undefeated, so what are we worried about? Nothing. Although, change, we're putting Tony back at the back of the lineup because Tony's just really bad, and I don't want him to bat. <laughs> if, if, I could, if I could make it so just Tony doesn't bat at all, that would be for the best, but alas... Rules for Little League Baseball are that every person on your team must bat. So, darn it. That's going to be a bit unfortunate. Also, we're going to keep Pablo out of the outfield from now on because he just makes some very bad plays. Keisha tends to do better, so that's going to be great. Yeah! Big game today! Let's face the Giants. Welcome to the most fun you'll have all day. Reporting to you live from the Parks Department Field number 2, this is Sunny Day and Vinny the Gooch. Going head-to-head -head in today's game are the Junior All-Stars and the Green Giants. This season has been solid for these kids. They've been playing some serious baseball out there, and they have a lot to be proud of. Not to mention, it's looking good for the playoffs. Without further ado, it's baseball time! Let's show the All-Stars what their fans are made of. And one thing I gotta admit... <laughs> The Giants have the best color, so that's going to be its going to be a little tricky to deal with. But I'm not intimidated. We've been undefeated, and I'm supremely confident in my fielding, so let's play ball. Pitching today is Murray Goldman. He likes to eat left-handed hitters for breakfast. He also likes dandelions, walks in the park, and science fiction movies. All right, there's the background on that. Hi, Mello. Welcome, welcome. We got peed up first, as usual. I'm gonna hit a touchdown. And as usual, we're gonna try bunting with him first, and if that don't work out, we're gonna hit a grounder. I think. Target goes up, and the throw, the swing, fouled one Foul ball. with nobody out. Hey, Mobius, welcome. <laughs> yep, he apparently eats left-handed hitters for breakfast, so not gonna be good for our little buddy Pete. Bunted. Oh, you can't leave first base when Pete Wheeler is running to it. You're gonna lose every time. <laughs> <laughs> what were they thinking? Next up, Kenny Kawaguchi. All right, Kenny. That's the look of pure determination on his face. Okay, pitcher, give me one right over the center. All right, Kenny. Now, I'm not sure how fast Kenny's going to be today, because he was slow last game. So we're going to try hitting a line drive for a bit more distance. A swing, strike one. Runner on first, nobody out. The one player that doesn't run at .5 miles an From hour. The exactly. And the delivery. Nope. Ball one. I'm glad that one actually was called as a ball because there was no way Kenny could have possibly hit it. <laughs> but that doesn't stop them for a lot. Okay. The wing. Darn, Kenny. In foul territory. One and two. I'm not bunting with Kenny. Even on his best days, Kenny's still not fast enough to be able to pull off a bunt. From the wind up, he throws it. Swung on. That's a foul. One and two. Just not realizing that Kenny fouls a lot. That's probably not for the best. The okay. A swing, a blooper in foul territory. Maybe I'm just swinging at the wrong time, but holy cow, Kenny, you're killing me. <laughs> He's ready now, and the delivery. Swing. Okay, that's right to the pitcher, but hopefully he'll throw it to Pete and not get there in time. Nope. Darn it. At least Pete got the second. How do you even bunt from a wheelchair? Probably bad technique. Most likely. All right, Pablo, you've been very impressive in terms of batting for the last few games, so we're going full on power as usual. And if we happen to get a home run, that would be awesome. The target goes up, pitch on the way. Strike one. That was a strike, of course. The runner goes. Okay, he's got a cannon at home. Goes for the slide and makes it to second. That was close. I actually feel like he was out there, but I'll, I'll accept that. They have okay. a runner on second, one stealing out. second is a lot easier than stealing third. May Pete, maybe stay there. I don't want to tire you out too much. Target goes up, and the offering... That better be. Ball one. Okay, good. And one and one. <laughs> he winds, and the delivery. The swing, strike two. That's not good. One and two. Take 
take the strategy, cut to the plate, on the swing, slice it, and the count is one and two. Well, if there's one thing I've learned, Pablo does well under pressure. The light up, he throws it. One on. That's a pretty good hit. Go for it, Pete. Go for it. Go home, Pete. Go to second. Uh, no, actually, Pablo, don't go to second. And that the game. Nice job! First point of the game. <laughs> I, I believe in Pablo too, and he got a single and he got Pete home, which is exactly what I wanted. Alright. I need Twitch chat to believe in Keisha Phillips as well, because she's also a skilled batter. Despite what her past performance has shown. Okay, that was on me. That was way too late. Come on, Keisha. And the pitch. Swing, Darn it! And the count is 0 and 2. Those slow balls, man. I, I'm anticipating them to be slower. Target goes up. Fire. The wing. Okay, well that was. <laughs> you had the power behind that, but you didn't have anything. Oh, Pablo, Pablo just, just stay out of there. I should have had him go He's back. <sighs> well, we got one point in the first inning. I can't complain of that. We, the game is already in the bag. <laughs> if it curves or catches fire, Mad Dog can throw the heck out of it. Just don't ask her to throw a slow ball. Jordan Thorner gets up to bat. Right. Here we go. Mr. Thorner. Chance to show them all who now, it is possible that the Giants have some very, really skilled batters. So that, that could be worrisome. If, they, if they're able to get some home runs... To, oh, wow. That, he hit that real hard. Uh-oh. If they can get a home run, then that's going to be problematic. Don't try this at home, kids. Take the stretch and the hit. To get him out. Nice job, Lisa. First, first character of the game, we get a strikeout. This is awesome. Felix Grant. Felix, you look really similar to the last guy. Oh, don't worry. We have the spitball. The spitball is the ultimate pitch. No one can ever hit that. Foul territory, and the count is 0 and 1. From the windup, pitch on the way. Swing. Direct two. Bad luck, bro. working for us. Hard left. Don't try this at home, kids. And, and let's try faking him out with the slow ball. And the delivery. The swing. All right. A bouncing ball. Don't worry, Lisa's right. all Dimitri. on it. Dimitri first. won't drop that. Molly May steps up to bat. I, honestly, Mel, I have no idea what makes something an infield fly or not at all. I am. I have no idea what the rules on that are. If it probably should have been. But I mean, may, maybe the refs are in it for the Giants. Maybe they, maybe they made a hefty wager that the Giants were going to win. Oh, you're, you're trying to bunt? You, you ain't gonna bunt against Mad Dog. That's just a really stupid idea. You're, you bunted when you're that slow? Are you slow in the brain too? What does that mean? I apologize if that was me. But I mean, seriously, she was like a slug. You don't bunt unless you're lightning fast like Pete Wheeler. It's just a terrible idea, otherwise. Okay, Lisa. Get on base and hopefully Jocinda will send you home. Give me something I can hit. With pleasure. From the stretch, the pitch. The swing. Lights it. Okay, you know what? Line drives are just not working out for Lisa. I'm going to try hitting power. Like the last nine times I've hit line drive, nothing has Into come from it. And delivered. Swing, another Granted, strike. I think that's just because no I can't get contact with the ball, because Lisa's a very bad hitter, but that is like one skinny bat. Holy cow. A swing, and a foul ball, and the count is 0-2. This is one of the few places where Angela really shines against the, uh, Lisa. Angela is a very oh, skilled batter. That's just what I wanted to I feel, happen. I feel like Lisa's gotten on base three times and has struck out every single other time. Watch this! Home run! Well, I'm actually okay. I'm okay with getting some strikeouts on, from my team. Because then I could potentially hit special pitches. And the throw. A swing. Okay, Jocinda. That... 
don't catch that. Don't, they're gonna catch that. Darn it, they even bumped into each other and they still catched it. This kid has stolen so many bases. He makes Al Capone look like an angel. I've determined the optimum swing based on current atmospheric conditions and the relative strength and weaknesses of the opposing team. That makes sense what an infield fly is, yeah. And the offering. Infield fly is when the infield That's can catch it without Two much out. effort. And then it's just counted as an out without a double play, yeah. That's what that's what I would assume it would be based on just the terminology. Okay. Well if well of course they get the big threes for striking out Lisa. Oh yeah, Dimitri's got the best animations. I like how he jumps every time he swings. Dimitri, you've fallen so far. Foul ball, and the count is one and two. <laughs> the two pitches you can't hit, but as a human, the d big freeze and the, the fireball. The one two pitch, the wing. One too late. It appears as if I need to rethink my strategy. That was bad. Two strikeouts and then one out. That's not good. Again, we're still a point up though. Wally so Evans as long as we're ahead, I'm happy. Trying to get something for the team. <laughs> and Lisa got all her juice back. <laughs> May I oh boy, Pluto! <laughs> Alright, Wally, Wally, Wally is such a Wally. We can get him out easy. I've got to say, Wally has got to be my favorite British insult. I didn't even realize it was a British insult until a couple years ago, but it's fantastic. Hold on. Look. Slice. No out. From the stretch, pitch on the that's the way to do it. Get out! <laughs> you think a stat nerd would pay closer attention to proper stances of baseball based on those topping the stats? Maybe Dimitri just likes doing things a little weird. He's a bit eccentric. He, I mean, he's a paste eater, so... I feel like if you ate paste seriously as a kid, you're, you're gonna end up a bit eccentric. A pitcher with a good right hook is an asset to any team. And the count is a good all pitcher is an asset to any team. I think you mean Vinny. Excellent. Right to Lisa. Lisa, right to Dimitri. Bada beam, bada boom. Dream team. <laughs> I swear Lisa and Dimitri could almost do all of the fielding themselves. She's set. Pitch on the way. Swinging. A blooper in foul territory. Two out. Here goes nothing. Alright, well, if he's gonna bunt, that's fine. A swing. Right two. Now's a good time for a slow ball. That was a show me heater for the break who's coming next. I bet you a soda. Oh, and two. Take the stretch. Here's the pitch. The swing. <laughs> why would you bunt that late? Also, why would you bunt when there are two strikes? That's really risky. The all stars are leaving them in the dust. Up by one. Here comes Jorge Garcia. All right, Jorge. Back. Doesn't tire easily. Okay, stand back, peons. Underhanded pitches have their place. <laughs> like when I played Clonade, that's how they ended up winning the game. From the windup and the delivery. Swing, strike one, and the count. That was probably a ball, but it probably would have been called as a strike, so I had to swing. From the windup, rolls it. A swing. <laughs> Is that a home? No, that's not a home. He's out. He caught it with the back of his head. Darn it, Jorge, that was really close, though. This young battery is All right, Tony, the there is, like, literally okay. no pressure on you. Let's see what you got. So, give me a big one. Batter, batter, batter. Takes the stretch, the delivery, swing. Tony, if you want to redeem yourself, if you want to prove that you're actually not a complete moron, you've got to hit at least one home run before the season. Into the wind -up. Cuts to the plate. I'm not swinging. That was a ball. One I'm not swinging. Good grief, Tony. Stop sucking on that lollipop and get your head in the game. The one, one pitch. Or they could walk Tony, which, honestly, would be a smart thing for them to do. Because there's no way Tony's getting home with, unless the very next batter, Pete Wheeler, is getting a home run. Into the which, and the realistically, that actually could happen. The swing. A bouncing ball. Tony. That little blooper, Tony. Running. Oh, Tony. 
So disappointing. Actually, no. You know what? That's not even disappointing. I'm expecting him to fail every time. If he does anything even marginally useful, he will have far exceeded my expectations. Uh, it's actually not what disappointing. Am I All right. to do again? Well, if we've got two outs, I'm going for power. I'm going for power and hoping for a home run. From the wind up, the pitch. The wing. A blooper in foul territory. Two out. Swing. Hey, better, better, better. Swing From the stretch, better. pitch on the way. I'm not swinging. That was a ball, and the count is one and one. Walking Pete Wheeler is a bad idea. <laughs> With his speed, he will be getting home, unless he can get the next person out. And delivered. Strike they two. still Any have the big freeze? Strike on you, it gets pretty tough to fight back. Now pitching Jordan Forner. He's gonna the let only way to tell that a ball is going to be a big freeze is if you notice it's faster than a slow Here's ball and slower than a heat. And the delivery. The swing. Whoops. Slice. One and two. You gotta love the smile on Pete's face, though. You know, he's, he's just the kid who's having a good time. He's ready now. The one-two pitch. And he was banned. Darn it. That pitcher is merciless. Now what? Well, now you're going to the dugout, and it's their turn to bat, Pete. <laughs> They, they've struck my guys out so much, they have so many special pitches, and I'm actually okay with that. Because <laughs> maybe they'll throw something dumb like a crazy ball and I can get a free hit on it. Murray Goldman steps up to bat. This kid wants a piece of that ball. Oh, I'll give, you, I'll give him more than a piece. I'll give him the whole ball. But you gotta go for it, Murray. Target goes up, and the offering... The wing. That was a solid hit. Um, way to go, Jorge. Oh, but look how slow he is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at that kid. That's like a kid who, sp who sprained both of his ankles. And it's like, ah, the coach is saying I have to play. But, oh, if that's not a home run. <laughs> Pablo. Thank, thank goodness Lisa is so competent. This dude bats .400 better than everyone on your team except Pete. Why is he batting 7th? I don't know. I don't understand batting orders. I just, I've just experimented and I'm like, I'll put all my good characters first and all my bad characters last. So my good characters will get to bat more. From the lineup, he delivers. Strike two. That's working for us. An impressive right hook. A pitcher with a good right hook isn't. Yeah, it's an asset to every team. Just smoke them out with the heat. And good. Give us another one, baby. Bada boom, bada boom. Man, these giants are not nearly as good as I was expecting them to be. The all-stars are leaving them in the gut. All right, Kenny, Pablo, Keisha, Dream Team. Here I go. I mean, Kenny's not it's a super Dream Team, but all right. We can work with it. All right, line drive, Kenny. Try to get it towards the outfield. That would be great. He's back. And the offering. That's a foul. I also might hit. Grounder's also good. From the wind up, the pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another strike. That is not you fair. It, it forced me out of the window, and I couldn't click. I blame my dual monitor setup Ready for that. Now. Throws it. Swung on. Okay, right ball. to the pitcher. That little blooper Darn it. Stand him running. Darn it. He's out of there. Okay, he's not standing he's on the base. I'm not he's out unless he steps on the base. Pablo <laughs> Sanchez stepped in. Even though the secret weapon speak any English. We all know he's a rad dude. Una buena. Well, actually, Pablo does speak English. He just chooses to speak Spanish to add to his mystique. That was a weird... That was a weird pitch. Into the wind, the pitch on the way. A swing. Pablo. Pablo. Easy money for the opposing team. Pablo, please bump into each other. They did, but still. Did the game deliberately get the team to do super well before you play them to hype them up? No, the, the Giants have actually done really well at the beginning, and then the last few games they did pretty badly. They were undefeated. Nope. 
They're catching that. They, they don't make any fielding errors. Darn it! And that was the strong part of my team. Jordan Forner gets the okay. This young battery collect cooks for breakfast. All right, Jordan Thorner. Oh, good, more juice that I probably won't need. Have a delivery. One long, direct one. He was in there like swimwear. In there like swimwear. Here. Don't try this at Here, bro. I'll give you an easier one. Left hook in the opposite way. You should be able to nail this. Or, or just do that. Got it. He throws the ball to first. Goodbye. Oh, throws it over. Dimitri's like, I'm gonna just throw it out of play because it doesn't even matter anymore. Felix Graham steps up the bat. Alright, Felix, we're gonna lower that batting average a bit more. Nice job, Pete! Just ignore the left half of my team, and boom, we got we got some real winners. Target goes up, rose it. Oh yeah, I, I I remember the Mario Golf games. I played a little Mario Golf 64, but it was mainly Toadstool Tour that like my dad really liked, and we were playing that player. That was a good game. That was a really good game. That was probably the best golf game I've ever played. The All-Stars are shooting high tonight. Speaking of spitballs, I remember one All-Stars game two seasons ago. This kid, Freddie Jackson, threw a spitball that went wild and hit the batter. The batter dropped the bat and cried all the way home. Not because it hurt, he was just mad that he was covered in spit. Who was talking about spitballs? Nobody. I just wanted to tell the story. <laughs> Mario Golf 64 was so difficult, though, but I love the mini golf mode in that. Here goes that was nothing. really cool. Swing batter, batter. Hey, yeah, Toadstool batter, Tour batter. was like a brilliant game. He's ready now. Fire. Also has like. Hang on. Please get on base. Please get on base. Please get on base. Please get on base. Oh my gosh, she's getting on base. Special bat time. Special bat time. Oh, this this could be big. This could be big. Slugger's ready to show us what she's made of. It's time for a home run. Crazy bunt. That's a good one. I'm uh, not using it with Jocinda, but that's going to be real useful for when Pete Wheeler goes back up to bat. Zane that to the outfield. That was a slow roller. Slides. Oh no. Jocinda, you put. I can't believe he dropped that. I also can't believe that Jocinda was refusing to slide. <laughs> yeah, Mario. Mario Golf, uh, Toadstool Tour, the Bowser Badlands is the hardest Bowser thing I've ever played. Harder than any of Bowser's Castle. From the wind up, the delivery. Nope. High ball one. <laughs> Wait till they call it and then swing, Dimitri. That's how you do it. Nice sideways hit. You That's better not catch that. You better not catch that. Runner on first, one out. I loved playing in Toadstool Tour the club slots. Where you would get like random clubs that you could use on a given stage. And you would like make the most with it. That was a fun mode. The wind up pitch on the way. Swung on. That's a foul. Two and two. I swear that me ch moving their positioning is only hurting me. I'm just going to do power square. And the delivery. Swing. Foul. And the count is two and two. Yeah, I'm saving that crazy bunt for when we've got fast players out. Into the motion. Cut to the plate. Swing. A bounce. Well, Jocinda's sure out. She's out of there. He's safe. Oh, yes! And I started moving! So he's going to third. Runners take two bases. He's going to third. Here comes Okay. I think I'm gonna use the crazy button now, so that way Dimitri can go home and we can get a point. Okay. And there's a chance that even if I do that. Alright, yeah. Crazy bunt time. Crazy bunt time. From the wind up, the delivery. Swinging. 
Booyah! Come home, Dimitri! I don't know how the physics of that thing works. Wow, and Jorge only barely got on base. That was a good, that was a good use of the crazy button. Oh, uh, you were talking about unlocking Bowser with Mario Golf 64. Okay, Let's see what you got. Oh yeah. Unlock it. Oh, and I still have the crazy button. Okay, I'm, <laughs> there is no way I'm wasting that on Tony Del Vecchio. He's ready now. Pitch on the way. Then he's out. And he's out. Once again, we are out on Tony. Halfway through the inning now. Oh well. We still have the, the crazy bun, and that is what I'm very happy about that. The all stars are Pete Wheeler is going to have a heyday with Wally that crazy bun. <laughs> I don't think Wally can do a day in fame, actually. Because I've got the pitching and fielding down pat, bro. <laughs> What a beauty with nobody else. Take the stretch, the delivery. How are these kids hitting it sideways? I don't understand. From the windup and the delivery. And another bat. And another one bites the dust. <laughs> Get out of here, you Wally. Sheila Batanti steps up the bat. Trying to get something for the team. Ready now. She delivers. Ready. We don't have any of the super right cheesy pitches. Like but the corkscrew we'll and the zigzag in the elevator are also. The <laughs> hey, Sonic, welcome. Pop You're just in time for. Well, not just in time. We've been playing baseball for a while now. That's it for her. We're on the bottom of the fifth. We're two points up, which for me in this game is absol absolutely outstanding. There's basically no way they're going to score. <laughs> They literally will have to get a home run if they want to score. Because my fielding is that impeccable. Dane Jorge! I, Jorge is far better than a two at field. He's great. Alright, last inning time. We still have a crazy bunt, and we've got our fastest players up first. Okay, now the question is do I use the crazy bunt now, or do I wait for Kenny? What am I supposed to do? I'm gonna hit a grounder with Pete. I'm not gonna bunt. I'm gonna hit a grounder. And the delivery. That's not. Yep, that's a ball. Nobody else. I'm saving the crazy bunt for Kenny, so Pete can advance to third or home there. Whereas if I do it now, he'll only be able to get like a double. The swing. All right. Just hit the ground. Just hit the ground. Hit the ground. Good. That was a slow roller. Nice job, Pete. And the That was brilliant. All right, now Kenny can crazy bunt. He'll get on base. Pete will probably get deferred, and Pablo Sanchez can get us a grand, not a grand slam, but a triple home run. <laughs> oh yeah, it's all coming together. All right, crazy bunt time. Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> do it. <laughs> I'm not. Actually, yeah. Oh, Pete, go home. Pete, go home. Pete, go home. Oh my gosh, she's so slow. Can he go to third? Can he go to third? Do not go home. Cannot get home. Oh yeah! Oh, I'm feeling good today, Mikey. <laughs> Alright, Pablo Sanchez. The secret weapon. Pablo, if you get a home run, like... It's the pizza parlor for us after this. <laughs> Pitch on the way. Oh! Is it pizza par- That's a pizza parlor time! I don't know what kind of pitch that was, but I ate it just like chicken. Pablo just earned a one-way trip to the local pizza parlor! <laughs> that is the third home run he's gotten in, in, in a row, as far as streams go. Third stream in a row, he's gotten a home run. And the, <laughs> the other team can rest in pizza. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, Kenny's got the wheelchair bunt technique down. Alright, Keisha, if you get out, that's fine. We had a glorious inning. 
Yeah. Ke Ke oh my god, what the heck, Keisha? Again, you have so much power in your hits. But... Let's see that play again. Did that really just happen? <laughs> I think the Giants at this point have just lost all morale. They're like, why even bother? Alright, we're hitting power with Lisa. I don't even care. Ready now, and the offering swing! A bouncing ball. I don't even care. We're going for it the second. Nope. Oh wow, they actually threw it the first. But Keisha's just <laughs> the other team is literally just beating each other up at this point. <laughs> so what would have happened if they didn't hit a home run? If they didn't hit a home run, then I would have dri driven them to the outskirts of town and left them there. That's what I would have done. <laughs> Mad respect to anybody who gets that reference. Darn it, I thought for sure that was going to be like a special pitch because of how tiny that shadow was. The target goes up and the offering swing. A bouncing ball. That little blooper sent him running. Oops, the wheel fell off. <laughs> He's caught in a pitch. Yes, Justin, you got to first because they were trying to get Keisha out. <laughs> All right, Dimitri, you got hit a triple early. Oh wait. Oh no, he no, he did hit a natural triple earlier. I thought he, I thought he crazy bunted, but no, Jorge crazy bunted when he was on third. From the windup, pitch on the way. Nope. 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 Not. No, I'm not. I'm not hitting that. <laughs> Not my style. I'm waiting for the... <laughs> right down the middle. Yeah, power squared. Why do I hit anything else at this point? Every time I... I've, I heard it's like, oh, you hit... Like, you hit open if, like, it's a left hook. You hit, like, closed if it's a right hook. No, no, no. Power squared. Oh, great. Nope, nope. Stay. Okay, that's an infield fly. Infield fly. Oops. The All right, Jorge. And you, he's out. Jorge. And the runner tag. You almost Bad hit second. a home run Here last time. Okay, stand First time you batted Jorge, you were so close to hitting a home run. If you could do that now, like, oh man, we're we're gonna up the quality of the pizza. The I'm, I'm talking Marie. Marco's Parmesan okay. crust. Okay, well, well. Chopper That's okay. Third. We're still that getting pizza anyways. No. Roller. Keisha, you can outrun him. You can outrun him. Oh my freaking god. Guys, the bases are loaded. It's the last inning. There are two outs, and it's freaking Tony. We're screwed. Oh no. Tony, Tony, if you hit a home run right now, I will never say anything bad about you again. Get on your horse. Tony Del Vecchio redeemed himself. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. Tony Del Vecchio hit a single. He didn't hit a home run, but he got on base and he got a point for us. And Pete Wheeler's up next and he's hit two home runs in the past. Let's go for a grand slam home run with Pete freaking Wheeler. I, this is the hypest moment. From the stretch, pitch on the way. I'm not swinging. I'm not swinging. I'm ball. not swinging at that. I'm waiting for right down the middle. They still have a bunch of special pitches. If Pete Wheeler gets a grand slam, we're going out for ice cream too. Okay, Pete, that, I love it. I love it. Just aim a little more in the not foul zone. Bases loaded, two out. Now pitching Arlene Perez. Opportunity. Grand slam opportunity. He's my second best batter in the game. Oh, that's that's good. that's game. Then Tony's not getting the second. All right, good try. Good try. That was a really good inning. I, I, all my kids should be proud of that, especially you, Tony. Tony, you you actually you did right. You did good, Tony. You did good. I'm, I'm treating you to that Parmesan Bad crust boy, pizza. <laughs> Four Bad points on. in Yo one inning. That's more than I've gotten in most Please games. Wow. Oh man, if I had gotten the Grand Slam with Tony, with Pete or Tony, that, that would have been just like the icing on the cake. Oh, Lisa actually does not get her juice back. That's okay. 
All right, Vinny, I trust you. Let's turn on the heat and smoke that batter. Ready now, and the offering. All right, yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. We would have to screw up something awful for them to, to even come close to catching up. We, we are super, super good. I don't even need to use my special pitches, although I might. <laughs> I might use the elevator. The elevator's kind of a cheap one. Alright, nice job. Let's throw another one, and then we'll throw an elevator. Yeah, their t their their team is not doing so well. One out. All right. Watch me now. Hey. Elevator time. The delivery. Say goodbye to You're out. Good. All right. Last player up to bat. It's Arlene Perez. She can't do anything. Oh wow. We still have elevators. Well, well, how about that? Let's throw an elevator. And then we'll chug a thing of apple juice and throw another elevator. And end the game, Lisa. End the game, Lisa! Did Lisa pitch the perfect game? Perfect game, Lisa. And wow. Yeah, we slaughtered them. The All Stars obliterated them. Six zero. <laughs> what a game, folks! When things got we won by like six. Yeah, that's literally like twice as much as I normally get in a single game. This victory is a well-deserved payoff for a job well done. Until next time, this is Sunny Day and Vinny the Gooch signing off. That was that was that was the best game we've played this season. That was so fantastic. And guess what? We get to fight the Giants again. I don't think next. I don't think next game is against the Giants, but I think two games from now they can get a rematch and maybe we could beat them by even more all right monsters beat the hornets by a good amount rockets lost to the bombers by barely anything oh the poor socks got obliterated we have nine wins no losses okay now the, the giants have fallen now the bombers are the second best team oh that's that's <laughs> that's not a very good uh it's not a very good percentage right there <laughs> <laughs> That's downright satanic. <laughs> All right, yeah. Next game, we do a rematch against the Rockets, who was our first team that we went against. And then we get to fight the Sox. <laughs> They're sa we're saving the worst for last. Watch the Sox be the team that actually beats me. Where it's like, oh, the Sox, oh, they're sucky. They lost to, like, everybody. That's like, nope. Sox are doing amazing. <laughs> wow. I'm still on cloud nine. That was that was intense. That was amazing, Tony. Tony, man, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you all. We're we're going to Marco's. Getting, we're going to Marco's, getting some good pizza, with old world pepperoni. Yes. All right. That's gonna do it for this stream. Holy cow, that was that was amazing. Also, hang on. Is anybody is anybody streaming right now? Not not really. No, but I know it's streaming, so it w I don't think we can really raid anybody. Top two make the playoffs, so we're four games ahead of the third place with five games to go. One more win clinches a tie. Two clinches is a guaranteed berth for the playoffs. Yeah. I'm not worried about not going to playoffs. We're going to playoffs. We're going We're going big. <laughs> I'm so confident that we're going to be able to do that. Anyhow, yeah, I'm going to end the stream here. Thank you all for joining in. <laughs> This was amazing. This was my favorite game. Tune in again two days from now, Wednesday, 8, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going up against the Rockets for our rematch. Tune into that. It's going to be a great time. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and God bless.